If you're a sysadmin, you've probably seen this message many times when there's an Active Directory problem. And what I've done over the years is I've dropped the computer from the domain and re-added it again, which has always fixed the issue, but it's very disruptive. Here we have a new way to fix this problem, and I'd like to give a shout out to Walter who demonstrated it for me up in New York, and now I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm in a Windows 11 computer, but this also works in previous versions. The menus look a little different, but they're mostly going to be the same. I'm going to click on the Start button and click on Settings. And once I'm in Settings, I want to go to the About section. And then I'm going to go to where it says Domain or Workgroup. Now, instead of clicking Change to drop the computer from the domain, I'm going to click Network ID instead. Now I'm going to click Next. Yes, my company uses a network with a domain. And now I want to put in the username and password. Now it doesn't have to be the administrator, it just has to be anybody who's a member of the domain. I'm going to leave the domain name as just the NetBIOS name. But if you get an error, go ahead and put in the fully qualified domain name instead. So I'll click Next. It says, I found this account. Would you like to use it? Yes, I would. Now it's asking me if I'd like to go ahead and add this. Yes, I'd like to do that. And it's a good idea to make them an administrator of the computer and finish. Now when you go ahead and restart, go back in, you'll be able to log on successfully without having to worry about that error message. When you log in, you might see other user instead of what you usually see, but that's okay. Once you've gone ahead and finished logging in, you should see that everything looks as it did before. And I now have the trust relationship fixed and all my icons are back to the way they were.